after checking the lamp matrix, I now want to go ahead and check the solenoid section of this specific System 9 board. <clears throat> in this case, I'm adding a couple of key pieces. We have the, the lamp matrix tester, but I'm also adding in this solenoid tester as well as our diagnostic buttons here. So the diagnostic buttons uh, replicate the buttons that you would see in the, the coin door of a, in this case, a Williams System 9, System 11, System 3, System 6, whatever you want to call it, board. Um, and I've got that plugged in here to 1J, uh, 1J14, so now I can actually run the diagnostic program that I'd like to from that perspective. Now, I did also show in another video the Leon's test ROM. I could use that as well, but I'm, I'm just happy with the ROMs I have in here now. So the only thing I need to do uh, by using the solenoid tester and the diagnostic buttons, which are also both from Siegecraft, is <clears throat> I can provide uh, 5 volts right to this board. And I'm just coming off that. Let me just back up a little bit here. Uh, let me remove a couple things to make it a little bit easier to see. So if I just uh, look down here, you see that I've got my, my 5 volts. I'm just taking another 5 volt pin here, taking that with a jumper wire straight over to that solenoid board. So again, I've got that set up appropriately from that side. I've got my 18 volts on right here for the, 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 the lamp matrix. And I'll show you why that's important here in a moment. And I'll go ahead and turn on the board power. So you see, I don't actually get any of that. If you do that quick on off, uh, just like you would do in a regular game, if you don't have any RAM, um, you know, anything in RAM stored for that game. Again, just a quick on off once or twice will actually get a game to start without nothing being stored from uh, from the RAM chip itself. So we can see here we're actually in our attract mode, and what that can now do is I can come over here to my buttons, and if I hit this one right here, this little on off toggle, I can go off. I hit it once. Now I'm taken into uh, uh, the specific mode uh, for display. If I hit turn this back on, it'll actually switch to the next one, which I believe is lamp. So there we go. Oh, we move through lamp pretty quickly, and now we're on to our solenoid test. So let me take this out of my tripod so you can actually see what's occurring here. So what you'll see is that you can you'll start to see as you have those test fires you'll see that green flash showing that we are actually getting that pulse for the coil to fire from a logic perspective to occur. So how do I know? I, I, if I watch it here again, we'll see the first one flash. We don't see anything on second. We see three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then obviously nothing on the last. So how do we know if that's good or bad? Well, that's a great question. That's where we go back to our manual. So we pull our manual out, and I slip, I flip over to the specific page. Here we go. So here's our information. So again, we're here at IJ11. We can confirm that right there. This is IJ11, and we see IJ11 one three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are all the ones that are going to be able to be flashed. Now, what's interesting here is nine is actually going to be our, uh, uh, is actually not used, is that correct? No, it's one, so nine. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see if we get those to happen accordingly. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that means for every flash we met we met in our manual, we got that correct. So it tells me that all the solenoids that are attached to that specific 9-pin connector are good. All right, well, we've got more solenoids to test, so I'm just going to remove the 5 volts from this, lay it off to the side. I'm going to pull this connector out. Put it into, I keep saying I, it's actually one, but I like saying I. So to me, we'll just call it I or one, it's the same thing. So now we're in 1J12. I'm gonna apply power. Let's get our, our manual again. Again, you can get these online. You don't have to actually buy the physical manual. I think it's just neat to show here. 
we have IJ12, we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are all either not used or are doing very specific things. So it, it's good just to see from a, a flash perspective if they're being used or not, but we can actually check to see across all that. And I think it's just finishing up. So let me pull my camera back out of the tripod <clears throat> and let's watch it again. So everyone should flash one through nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So looks like we are getting that. Let's just watch it again real closely. A little one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that tells me that from our general control solenoids, everything looks good. Now I'm going to repeat that one more time. In this case, I'm going to go over here to the special solenoids. And the only difference here is with your special solenoids, these are going to be your pop bumpers uh, that, that, that you'll have, uh, flippers, et cetera, et cetera. I can actually um, use these rocker dip switches to actually, uh, so you have your special solenoid switches, just like when, when someone depresses a uh, pop bumper uh, and it, it kicks off, where a switch actually activates a solenoid. Uh, in this case, I could actually activate the switch and then see if I get the corresponding uh, lock on uh, green pulse for that switch being done. So I'll check that. I'm going to do that off camera. But again, just wanted to follow up here with a couple of pieces of diagnostic equipment. You can completely bench test a Williams, in this case, a system nine board, but anywhere from system three all the way up to system 11. And then even some other manufacturers such as Data East, Stern, uh, Gottlieb. There's a lot of these variety of tools that are out there. So this board's ready to go back in the sorcerer, testing it, make sure that it's good to go. Hey guys, sorry for the shorter video this week. Uh, I've been traveling for work and I have not been at my house to film some new videos. I would like to ask though if you've got any suggestions on things to cover as I'm finishing the bench test repair video for William System 9 through 11. I'm interested in other topics that you may have that may be interesting to cover, whether they're things that I do today or things that I you know, want to learn as well. So if you have any of those, please feel free to leave those in the comments below and uh, I'll work on those. Till next time, 